This feature is brought to you by JPHMP Direct, an online community for advances in public health. In this tutorial, I will be discussing some points to consider when writing the discussion section of a science manuscript, which is adapted from a written post in the Scholarship of Public Health series, written by Dr. Justin Moore, which you can find the full post at jphmpdirect.com. Keep in mind that these tips are specific to JPHMP as a practitioner-oriented journal. Similar to the results section, context is key in your discussion. Good discussions put your results into context and explain them. For example, let's take a look at this article in JPHMP called Measuring Subcounty Differences in Population Health Using Hospital and Census-Derived Datasets. If we take a look at this part of the discussion, we can see that the authors are referencing figures and putting them into context. With this statement, and from briefly observing these figures, we can understand that there is variation in health outcomes based on zip code levels. Good discussions also highlight strengths and weaknesses of your study. It's not mandatory, but the author separated their limitations into an entirely separate paragraph. In any case, identifying not just the strengths of the research, but also the limitations is important. Keep in mind that bad discussions over-interpret the results, speculate beyond the current findings, overstate the importance of the results, or over-editorialize. A good discussion provides thoughts on the next steps in this specific line of inquiry, or highlights gaps in knowledge needing to be filled to move the field forward. Good research usually creates more questions than answers, which is how the field is self-perpetuating. Good discussions compare their results with what has been previously published and cite the existing literature. If we take a look here, we can see that the authors are supporting their use of zip code levels for sub-county data by referencing other articles that identify small area data as a need at both the local and federal levels. Much of the readership of JPHMP is practitioners, policymakers, and academics who work with both groups. As such, they are much more interested in findings that they can apply to their work in the real world than they would be novel results from contrived settings. The discussion section is a great place for authors to put their work not only in the context of the scientific literature, but also to highlight the practical implications of their results. For example, the authors are implying that their data, which delineates geographically based health rankings using zip code levels, may help engage communities to address identified sub-county data needs. Finally, please note that the author guidelines describe numerous article types with specific expectations and formatting requirements. All four research and practice report formats require a section called Implications for Policy and Practice. This is an opportunity to succinctly state the relevant implications, but they should be points raised in the discussion in a longer form. Remember, if you can't articulate implications for policy or practice, your work may not be a good fit for JPHMP. And that concludes this tutorial for tips on writing the discussion section of a manuscript. Be sure to check out more from this column series by Dr. Justin Moore, and visit the following links for our tutorial on writing an abstract and writing the results section of a manuscript.